Hi, this is Tim with Cisco, and today we're going to learn about a new feature called user groups that will make it easier for you to manage access for multiple people. Starting off at Software Central, that's software.cisco.com, your place to manage your downloads and upgrades, configure network plug and play, manage your licenses, order software from Cisco. We're going to spend most of our time in this quadrant called administration. In particular, Manage Smart Account is the link that you'll follow in order to create a user group. As a reminder, the Manage Smart Account section is where you can manage the properties of your account, do things like update users, in this case, create a user group, even create custom tags or other areas that are associated with your smart account. Click on the User Group tab in order to set up or maintain your user group. And in order to create a new one, click the blue box that reads New User Group. The cool part about user groups is you can configure them in any way that makes sense for your business. So in this case, I'm going to create a new user group called Deployment Engineers. And this is going to be for, let's say, our West Coast Deployment Engineer team. After providing a name and a description, click on the Create box in order to set up the user group. The on-screen dialog shows that the new user group has been created, and next we just need to add users. There are two ways to add users, the first of which is to type in the user IDs or the email addresses, then click on Add. The on-screen dialog will guide you along the way. So for example, one user was added and the other one I had an incorrect user ID. In order to fix that, I can simply go up and re-edit the user ID that I typed in originally with the correct user ID. And after the update, we can see now that the second user was added successfully. Now, another option for adding user groups is to upload multiple users at the same time. The nice part about this is you can prepare a file offline and then simply drag and drop it into the dialog box. You'll also notice the option to download a CSV template. The cool part about adding user IDs in bulk is that the system will also validate the user IDs and respond back to let you know which ones were successfully added or items that potentially need your attention. For example, an incorrect user ID or email address. You'll notice the indication next to the users. A group owner will allow them to add and delete users from the group, and an account user indicates that they're currently a member of the smart account. As a side note, it is possible to assign access to an external user group, and this is an option that will allow you to request access from that smart account admin. So here we have our deployment engineer user group with seven users that have been added to it. On the right-hand side, there are options for managing those users, in particular, managing their virtual account access, which is what we'll be doing next. On the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see the available virtual accounts that you can provide access to. On the right, those that have been selected. It's important to point out that you can also add virtual accounts that have been tagged using the custom tags capability. Let's go ahead and add the virtual accounts that are gonna be suitable for our West Coast deployment team, and then simply click on the blue box to assign them a role either as an admin or a user. These are the same smart account roles that you're currently accustomed to. After assigning the roles to the selected virtual accounts, they'll now appear on the right-hand side. Also make note of the X next to the entries and the delete all at the top should you decide to back out any changes. When you're ready to go, don't forget to scroll to the bottom and click on Apply. The on-screen dialog will alert you that everything was completed successfully and you can return to the previous screen by clicking on Back to User Group Management. Let's take a look at a couple of other useful features while we're here. Whenever you select an item, it will always expand out to show you the contents. For example, the seven users that we've just added. And on the right-hand side, the I Want To option will allow you to do other things. For example, to manage the user access, Let's say, for example, we want to give somebody group ownership, meaning they now have access to add and delete users from the user group. We can simply assign that, authorize it, 
and the dialog box will respond letting you know that everything was updated successfully. Here's another cool feature that will allow you to send a message to the members of a particular user group by choosing I want to send a message to user group. You'll have the option to choose the users, either all or some of them, and then you can simply type out the message that you want them to read. The nice part about this is you can notify somebody, for example, that you have licenses that are in a particular virtual account that are going to be used in a deployment scenario. After finishing the message, click on send at the very bottom right corner and the message will go to them by email. So those are some of the helpful features that you'll find within user groups. Again, all of this is available on Software Central, that's software.cisco.com, which is your primary source for all your licensing needs. Go to the bottom right-hand corner in the administration area and then click on Manage Smart Account.